So this is a video universe that I've kind of always wanted to do. This is a topic I've always wanted to talk about, and it's, keep in mind, this is not a fight video, this is not like who's better, or who would win a fight between Goku and Superman. This is more of a video, and yes, I know, the irony is not lost on me that I'm using an image of Goku and Superman fighting. You know, the, the irony is not lost on me, but this video is more about not so much Goku and Superman fighting, but more of why I think they both respectively matter to people, and why people get so heated over this, over this debate between these two characters, and why people are so gung-ho about, you know, one or the other. That's kind of the big thing here. And I want to do this video to give my thoughts on it. Now, as both a comic fan and a fan of Dragon Ball Z, I have to say that this is a, a video that I've um, been thinking about, and I'm going to try my best to talk about it. And that is, as you can see from the title, Why Goku and Superman Matter. Now, both of these characters, I think, have, are why they're so well-guarded, you know, well-guarded by fans and well, so respected by fans, is because for different reasons. I think, but I think on a common goal, I think why people get so gung-ho about these two and why things get so heated between, Go you know, uh, in the fight of Goku and Superman, I think the major issue is that people hold these characters to such high regard, and that's a good thing, I think. I think that's a good thing in respective, re respective grounds. Now, the reason why I say that is because Goku and Superman mean different, uh, mean things to different people. Now let's talk about Superman first. Now Superman, of course, a lot of people say, oh, well, I can't connect with him because he's a god. Really? Because Goku is a kind of, is literally a Saiyan god now, so you can still connect with him. But I think the reason why, I, um, and that's fine, you know, you can't connect with Superman on a power level. But the big thing is that you have to, but I think the big thing is people connect with Superman because on a moral level. I think the big thing is is that while Superman is so powerful and so godlike, the major thing you have to look at is that Superman inspires people. You know, Superman is this you know character who, while despite being a god, acts one of the is one of the most human characters in comics. Really, he's very much the you know all American boy, the Boy Scout for a reason. Because on a moral, I think. That was the point with Siegel and Schuster, was that Superman was just this character who was uh, here to uphold a lot of values and a lot of, you know, well-meaning for certain people. That was a major issue for them, was to have this character who um, people could, you know, have these, learn these kind of moral, morals from. And, yeah, physically you cannot connect with Superman, but morally I feel like he's meant to inspire people. He's meant to, you know, cause people to be like, okay, what would Superman do in this situation, you know? And that could be said for a lot of heroes, like, whether it be Spider-Man or Batman or who have you. So that's why I think Superman is such, you know, on a moral level, I think people should connect with him. Now, who should be the one to physically connect with Goku, uh, to, with characters? Physically, it should be Goku. I can't tell you how many people I know in, in real life who started working out and started training and started building muscle was because, yeah, they watched Dragon Ball Z as a kid and still watch Dragon Ball Z and watch Goku get stronger as well as all the other Dragon Ball Z characters get stronger and watch them, you know, you know, break their limits that they originally had. And that was such an inspiring thing for a lot of people, for a lot of these people, was that, you know, if Goku can do it, you know, I sure as hell can. So that was very much the uh, the look, the onlook for, Go for Dragon Ball Z fans was, if they can do it, I can do it. Like I said, I've known so many people in my life that essentially train themselves and hone their, bo you know, hone their bodies because they watch Dragon Ball Z and were like, yeah, if he can do it, I can do it. And they're lives are, and their health is a lot better for it. Now, morally, it's the opposite with, with Goku, because morally, I can't connect with Goku morally. Now, physically, I can, because even I have been working out um, a little bit inspired by Dragon Ball Z, I'll admit. But morally, I cannot connect with Goku. Why? 
dude wasn't a great father, he's nearly caused the destruction of mankind and the universe just so he can have a fight. Don't defend this, you know it's true. Um, so let's just say Goku is not the best person to essentially, you know, connect with morally because he's kind of a little amoral. Not evil, mind you. He's not e he's not in essentially evil, but he's not exactly the most brightest person in the world. Let's let's be real here, people. So that's the big thing here is that um, we tr you know we sympathize you know we empathize with Goku and him training and him learning to you know go further beyond. I mean that moment where he first became Super Saiyan. It's one of the best moments in anime, period. And it was even cooler when he broke his limits to become Super Saiyan 2 and 3. Let's be real here. And that was another thing that I think a lot of people really saw was that, you know, when Goku broke his limits, you know, when people kept saying Goku couldn't do this or Goku couldn't do that, Goku did it. <laughs> it was kind of that thing where, you know, people watched Goku do all this and, um, you know, thought mentally, well, I can't become a Super Saiyan, even though as a kid I tried. Let's be be honest, we all did it. We all, we all tried. We were all that kid who tried it at one point or another. Let's be honest with ourselves, people. But that's the thing, um, is that you can connect with Goku on a physical level because you were told that you couldn't break those limits. Whether it be academically, or physically, or mentally, you were told at some point or another by somebody, whether it be friends, family, or something of something something or other. And you found that strength, whether it be watching Dragon Ball Z or not, to surpass that level. You know, you were you know, you surpassed and subverted those ideals that were set out before you, much like how Goku ascended past his own power levels. But on the other hand, you still have Superman who, yeah, there's no way you can, uh, you know, you can be on a physical level with Superman, no matter how hard you train. But morally, you can follow his exa you can follow Superman's example. You can follow what Superman means, not to just, you know, yourself, but to your uh, fellow man. That's the big thing, is that Superman embodies what is good about us. And I know it's been said multiple times before, but I feel like it needs to be restated every ever so now and again to kind of reinforce the point, shall we say. And that's what I've always liked as a Superman fan, is that, you know, this guy can literally move planets at some points, but yet he's willing to just go to, go to a blue-collar job when he could easily go, I can take over this planet and no one could stop me. And before you even say, oh, but Batman with the kryptonite and all that, no, no, even Batman said, yeah, I posture. Be even Batman himself has said, I posture. I couldn't realistically beat Superman with kryptonite or anything. I can't beat him. So, yeah. Um... It's literally about a god living as a man, and he accepts that kind of humanity, and he accepts us with all the flaws. And I think that's the other thing, is that, you know, we all want to accept humanity and its flaws, even though, especially in this day and age, where it's kind of hard to do that, uh, when a lot of the human race is progressively getting shittier to one another. Um, but I think that's why Superman matters in that regard, where you have that hope, you have that kind of looking out to. So, you know, so yeah, like I said, Goku and Superman both respectively ma uh, matter. Goku on a physical level and mental level, if you want to make that argument, for surpassing your own regards. But Superman matters in the m morality level. So in a weird way, they both equal each other out, you know? In a weird way, they kind of make this strange fusion for both, you know, for being the physical and moral and mental help for yourself and for your and for others. Like I said, this video was not about trying to state, oh, well, Goku's better than Superman, or Superman's better than Goku. I never once said that, because, like I said, I'm a fan, and I think that we forget that. We forget that sometimes, with the, especially with these two characters above all else. So, that's pretty much all I had to say, Universe. So you guys tell me, do Superman and Goku matter to you? Comment below, let us know. 
I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.